What's up guys, this is Webby back again for some late breaking news for you involving the Beast Brock Lesnar and his contract with the WWE. As we all are aware, as everybody has been speculating and talking about, his contract with the WWE is up at WrestleMania 34. When we all are going to have to watch him defend the Universal Championship against the big dog, Roman Reigns. So, WWE, somebody out there has blessed us with some great news. Because Brock Lesnar's final matchup could very well not be at WrestleMania. That would be awesome. Because you think of this. WrestleMania 34. Him dropping the title to Roman Reigns. Giving Roman Reigns the favor. That doesn't need to be his final match. Giving Roman Reigns a pat on the back. No, that doesn't. According to GiveMeSports.com, Dana White came out and said that Brock Lesnar's contract does not come out with the WWE till the summer of 2018. Now, if it's the summer of 2018, you know that Vinnie Mac made that contract to SummerSlam because he's not going to make it for June or July or one of those rinky-dink pay-per-views, those self-branded pay-per-views. It's a spe spectacle pay-per-view. So it is... SummerSlam. So what would WWE do with Brock Lesnar? What would they do with him? I mean, here recently his matches have kind of sucked. Six-minute matches, five-minute matches with, with Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe and that kind of junk. I mean, they haven't been anything special. But the question is, what do they do? If this is true, what would they do? Would they hold off and not give Roman Reigns a favor at WrestleMania 34? And then wait till SummerSlam of 2018? After all, Roman Reigns was the one that got crushed with an F5 and then pinned 1, 2, 3 at SummerSlam this year. So, would they do that? Just wait in one year? And then SummerSlam being his last match? Or do they drop the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34 to Roman Reigns, get the title off of him. Brock Lesnar doesn't need the championship. He needs to be on Raw because he's a spectacle. He's awesome. Everybody still goes nuts when he comes out there. That is what's great about Brock Lesnar, but he doesn't need that title. He can still have great feuds with people and not have the championship. Nobody wants to see it on Roman Reigns, though. But get the title off of it. And if it takes Roman Reigns, fine. But then put it on somebody that actually deserves a championship. So. Brock Lesnar. If you take the title off of him at WrestleMania 34. Go into a rivalry. Leading into the summer of 2018, SummerSlam, 
with somebody that is worthy of getting that big, huge push. Actually put over a Samoa Joe. Put over a Finn Balor. Put over a Braun Strowman. Somebody of that caliber. Put over a Bray Wyatt. Build Bray Wyatt up like the monster eater of worlds that he used to be. And then have him beat the beast. Something like that. Not the big dog who will never take John Cena's place. I don't care what baloney John Cena fed us on that raw talk. Brock Lesnar being here till that SummerSlam is awesome. And maybe, just maybe, Vince McMahon would be able to sign him again. That would be great as well. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with this John Jones thing, with this UFC fight. That would be great to see as well. But hopefully that gets taken place when he's under WWE contract. Because no matter if you like part-timers or if you don't like part-timers in the WWE, Brock Lesnar being in the WWE is good for it. Because with Brock Lesnar, not only do you get spectacles, and not only do you get a reason to tune in on Monday nights when he goes and takes people to Suplex City, but you get one of the best talkers the business has ever had in Paul Heyman. And without Brock Lesnar, you don't get Paul Heyman. So... Brock Lesnar could be staying past WrestleMania 34, and that would be awesome to see. You let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Watch Hell in a Cell review after the event tonight. Subscribe. Hit that bell for all notifications. Raw review tomorrow night. Tune in to my Preview and predictions of Hell in a Cell. It's up on the channel right now. Tune in for my top five pay-per-views that need to come back to the WWE. And pay-per-views that need to leave the WWE. Classic Survivor Series reviews. Amongst everything else that you've missed on the channel, go back and check out. Follow me on Facebook at 2007 Webby and until I see you again this is Webby and I will catch you on the other side talking